Hey guys, we're back and we're gonna do another drawing of a character from the Three Little Pigs. We drew the Three Little Pigs last time, so this time we're going to draw the other main character, the big bad wolf that huffed and puffed. Okay, so to do this project, you need a piece of paper. Remember, it can be a piece of white paper or lined paper or whatever you have. And then you need a pencil or a pen or a marker. I like to use my Sharpie so that it's nice and dark so that you can see what I'm drawing. We're going to use the same basic shape that we made for the three little pigs. Okay, so I'm gonna start right in the middle again. So to do that, to start his body, we're going to make an upside down U like that. Make this into the same length. And then instead of drawing just a straight line across, I'm going to curve it just a little bit across the bottom like that. Okay. And with our pig, we started with his nose. So with our wolf, we're going to do the same. Draw a little oval in the middle. And I'm going to color in all of the oval except for a small little part, just like that. I'm going to make two circles to be his eyes right on both sides of his nose. Okay, and this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna come right to the edge of my nose and I'm gonna make a line that's kind of like a hump, almost like a candy cane and a backwards candy cane. So I'm gonna start at the nose. I'm gonna go up and around the eye to about there. And then I'm gonna come to this side of his nose and draw a line up and around to about there, okay? Then I'm gonna go back and make an upside down U inside his eye and color that part in. So now I have the beginning of his face, okay? This big bad wolf isn't going to have a big smile because he's a big bad wolf. So I'm just gonna make a line across and then I'm gonna give him kind of some jagged teeth by making little W shapes across his little mouth right there. Now this part where we made the edge of his face come down, that's where we're going to draw a line straight across to be his pants, like that. And then just like our pigs, we're gonna draw two rectangles off the bottom to be his legs. And for our little pigs, we made a round swoop to make a hook, but this time I'm going to go up and down and up and down because wolves are mammals and they have big claws at the bottom of their feet. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back up again. Just like we did with our pig's arms, we're going to make a rectangle coming out of the top and a rectangle coming out of the top. And then just like with his feet, we're going to draw a letter M inside to give him claws up there. And then our wolf needs ears, just like our pigs did, okay? If you want to, you can draw a long oval right there in the middle, coming out for both of his ears. Now remember to color him, and if you wanna cut him out to be a puppet, you can cut, stay close along the outside edges and cut out your puppet, or you can draw a line with a pencil and cut it out like an oval. So now we have three little pigs and a big bad wolf. Thanks for drawing with me.